I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to estimate instantaneous rate of change for a function using difference quotient method. Now this is a very interesting question from unit test to advanced functions rate of change. Now as we know instantaneous rate of change for any function let me write this as instantaneous rate of change is equals to f of a plus h minus f of a over a plus h minus a right that gives us f of a plus h minus f of a right that's difference quotient formula for you divide by h where h is very very small as compared to 1 so we are considering two points one is at a x equals to a the other one is at x equals to a plus h right now since the two points are very very close then the slope of the secant becomes slope of the tangent and therefore it is instantaneous rate of change right so let us first find a general expression and then we'll substitute these values and find instantaneous rate of change at different points so we have f of x square minus 2x so let's write a plus h here so we get the first term as x square is a plus h whole square minus 2 times a plus h plus 1 this is f of a plus h take away f of a which is we replace x with a so we get a square minus 2a plus 1 correct divided by h is it okay that is how it is now let us expand so when you expand this you get a square plus 2 times a h plus h square minus 2a minus 2h plus 1 take away a square minus 2a plus 1 always you'll find that these three terms will cancel out I'll show you how a square and a square right a square minus a square similarly when you take away 2a from minus 2a minus 2a they cancel out and 1 from 1 right now remember one thing since h is very very small h square will approach 0 right so we'll take this as 0 so we'll not include in the next line so h square approaches 0 right so we are left with 2a h here 2a h and minus 2h divided by h do you see that so I can factor out h and you get 2a minus 2 I could actually factor 2 also but in any case uh, let me write like this over h and that gives us 2a minus 2 so this is a general expression for us for rate of change at any point a on this function do you understand so that becomes instantaneous rate of change now we have to find a different points x equals to minus 2 right so we can say instantaneous rate of change at x equals to minus 2 will be how much substitute minus 2 for a will be 2 times minus 2 minus 2 is that okay so 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 so we get this value as equals to minus 6 correct similarly at x equals to minus 1 it is going to be what instantaneous let me write like this equals to 2 times minus 1 minus 2 which is minus 4 is that okay similarly x equals to 1 let's use a different thing and write so at x equals to 1 it will be 2 times 1 right minus 2 so 2 times 1 minus 2 will be 0 similarly at 5 at x equals to 5 at x equals to 5 so instantaneous rate of change is going to be 2 times 5 minus 2 10 minus 2 is 8 so that is how you can find instantaneous rate of change at so many different points once you get your general formula it saves a lot of time so I'll recommend whenever you have more than one point 
Don't use preceding, following or centered way of finding instantaneous rate of change. Use this method. Difference quotient with the general value. Then substitute the values for x and get your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.